hello everyone today I'm going to show you how to how to um, upload your images how to create layer 2 uh, into GNS3 layer 2 that helps you to configure almost everything that you would do in your real lab for example I'm talking about the real routers and real switches okay so now as you can see, I already showed you before in my previous videos how to call, how to install GNS3 on Windows and how to install GNS3 in in Wind in uh, Mac Pro. So please watch my other videos if you are concerning how to install GNS3. But today, as you can see here, this my Windows. This kind of like a new GNS3. So if I go, if I click here, I only have the router images that I supported that this one is an obsolete, uh, obsolete routers. I mean obsolete Dynamibis, Dynamibis before, you know, but I still use it because it's really good, but it's, uh, it's kind of like real, it simulates real iOS and it supports a lot. Okay, so this is what we use. And in GNS3 and also we have another layer 3 which is a V a viral uh, image so if I click here I don't have any layer 2 switches because this one is a ether switch so this ether switch I have to first I have to what do you call I have to create a demo for example like demo demo like the de demo layer 2 layer 2 is which I mean just the uh, this will be like a de demonstration one so I have this window here so this is the default GNS3 uh, switches but so if you click it you have nothing to you know to to configure there is no interface on this one but what we need we, so GNS3 has it doesn't have really switches basically that's what it is because this one is only for bridging between the routers like when you want multiple routers to connect it to this switch it just bridges and it gives you here this tab access uh, or, or or that one Q or Q or Q uh, Q and Q this one they call like um, you know uh, these are three ether types so access so which is access and dot uh, dot one key which is a trunk and key and key which is a layer two functionality for service providers. So actually it doesn't make any big sense in this one. So we need to have a layer two that we can configure and we can configure our VLANs. We can in this one you can configure VLANs, but the VLANs you cannot go inside. It just you have to. Here, VLAN 1, VLAN 2, VLAN 3, and then you have to assign of this some of these access ones. For example, like if you wanted this one to be a trunk between two switches, this one you have to come here and say like dot one key VLAN 3. I mean dot one key and I have a VLAN 3. On you already created VLAN 3, and then you want this one to be uh, connected to another switch. You say apply. When you say when you say apply no add you click add first and then when you say apply it has to you see it has to join uh, it has to be dot one q but anyways it's rather useful what we need is that let me delete this one we need to have a layer through a switch that we can configure it's a virtual switch but we can configure almost everything that we need to configure uh, I mean that is supported into a real switch so how can we do that we, we, to do that you need this you need some images here not this guy layer 2 uh, what is it you need this image VIOS L2 enterprise you know this one V uh, L2 this is a layer 2 switch and it has to have a QC, which is a chemo, QC uh, W2, the extension. So you need this image so you can find from Cisco, if you have a Cisco contract or 
you know, anywhere else. I mean, like, you have to look for it by yourself, but you need this image, okay? So, okay, how can I upload then this image to my to my uh, GNS3 so I can use it? So what I will do, I, I'll also, before I do that, I have to go to my, uh, here, to my downloads, and then I you need to download these uh, appliances they call appliances right here you, if you see like genus type it's appliances if i go here and go to property um, it should um yeah it is an appliance yeah you see genus 3 appliance file so how can you download it i showed you before but let me show you again you go to gns3 website and then when you, you go here marketplace you click here marketplace and then here is the appliances side so appliances and then this is a cisco ios v which is a layer 3 and this is um, the one we want to use it so you click here a cisco ios v l2 is the same Cisco IOS VL2 so that's how you can download and then you press download it so that is, that is that's how you can download it so now I already downloaded but how can I upload to GNS3 I have to go file and then import appliance here do you see import the appliance and then when it shows me this window because it shows me the file that where it is then I will open and then it tells me like install appliance on GNS3 VM recommended. So my GNS3 is already connected as I showed you before and my other videos into GNS3 VM, my GNS3 VM and, and my GNS3 local, they all connected to each other. Do you see here with GNS3, GNS, GNS VM, GNS3 VM is already green. So I showed you on my previous video. So what I do. I will, uh, I will uh, click next and then systematically it gives you chemo system blah 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 you don't need to touch you just click again uh, you just need to click again next and then it shows you here my version here is ready to install is ready to install because I if I double click here and if I go here import because if you do not see any ready to install any ready to install like this one now there is uh, some corrupt corrupt one is here so i think this one is corrupt but if you if, if you want to see if you want to do it if you want to if you do not see any ready to install you click uh, this version like you know the the below the below one because if you click here there is nothing coming up here but if you click the underneath any image like if you see like ios v l2 uh, 5.2.1 if you click that the one below the ios itself it shows you import or download but in my case and and also it has to match because this you have to have this you know you have to have um you know an exactly same version like 0 3 2017 dot you know you have to have that exact image so now I, I have already one ready to install but I, I want to go this one found in gns3 they said so let, let me import on that to this so if i go oh, to import i said import import means bring it on bring it on gns3 so if i go here uh, to my uh, to my desktop and look for the image that i'm looking for is this one let me I collect and then I open and then yes now it says it's ready to install I have one ready to install and uh, so if you see click legacy like said would you like to install a Cisco iOS version so yes and now it is already installed and then it says the appliance has been installed and the template Cisco has been successfully created. That means we have our iOS there. And if you can see here now, 
DUC 2017-03-21 exactly the same image that we have in here in my desktop in my desktop you see Cisco iOS L2 uh, V iOS L2 is a V is like it because it didn't put V but it is a V is iOS L2 and then 2017 we have a 203 we have 03 2017 2017 and you know um, this number is exactly the same so if I go here now if I go to uh, edit and go preference and if I go to chemo VM yeah it is it is here so now what we can do I can bring up here and then I can turn it on right click start it is starting the seat and then if you click it it has to come up yeah I, I double clicked you see it has to come up and also I can I can change to SW2 as well then to here SW1 this is which one and now you see it's coming up and we have layer 2 switch and layer 3 is switch that we can configure everything that we need okay this is how you can configure how you, how you can have uh, switches uh, uh, installed in your GNS3 which you can configure everything basically that you need you know so let me turn on this one as well and then if you go to VM here this VC and uh, shall, shall we all you know let me let me make this video short so next time I will do the the lab is on this switches okay but I just want to show you like they can be layer 3 and they can be layer 2 so they take a bit of time let me just close and restart because I want to see a switch to a switch one in here you see I have a switch one here and then instead of the long name and then click and then switch to so it takes a bit of time because it is heavy on the system that's why my computer is making noise so please bear with me so this one is coming up and this one is still starting so that is how you can have a layer 2 switch uh, functionality into GNS3 very 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 important for our labs for our labs okay so this is let me just wait for a bit Uh, you see now the switch one is coming up and the switch two is still on the process because you know they are heavy on the CPU as I said before so we have to bear in mind don't freak out if it doesn't come up like really quickly that you as you need it okay and I showed you how to integrate the JNS3 as well before I think maybe I will do another lab you see it is still coming up that's the switch one the one i i configured it uh, the one i started be first so i just you see now we are here so we can configure configure terminal yeah and like this command is i showed you last night so if i say host name now because i have just a switch here so let me make a call uh, name host name sw1 you see okay vlan 1 or oh, vlan 10 then you can you can name it vlan 10 and then you see name the vlan some marketing for example marketing you see so if I exit out and say do show VLAN 
they see it is already we have a, a VLAN 10 marketing even though it was one T so if you want to change the name what you can do you go to VLAN again and then just change the name so that instead of marketing this is marketing T1T and then you go back and say show VLAN and then you see the spin marketing you see so we have VLAN 10 so we can really 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 switch I mean configure anything that we need on this switch basically almost every command will be supported so I hope it has been informative really really and uh, for you and it has been um, you know beneficial for you so please like and share uh, to my video and subscribe at the same time thank you for watching thank you for watching and have a great day